Hello, in this video I'll show you what could be one of the causes if you have a problem with the engine management system or the engine control module on your BMW X5 E70. One of the causes could be a blown fuse or a relay, so here in the video we'll show you the location of the fuses and relays for the engine management system. Before I show you the location of the fuse, uh, first I'll show you how to test uh, if, if the fuses are good or bad using a test light and a multimeter. I'm also going to show you how to test a relay using an automotive relay tester. First thing that you need to do before start testing the fuses is uh, you need to turn the ignition on. Next, uh, we'll get a test light and we'll start testing. We have to attach this uh, end of the cable somewhere on ground, either on uh, battery negative or somewhere on, on chassis ground. In my case, the battery is next to the fuse box, so I'm going to put uh, this uh, side of the cable on battery negative and I'll start testing the fuses. On the fuses, there is uh, two pins uh, on top that uh, we need to touch with the test light. Uh, and if they light, uh, if both of them light, that means the fuse is good. If only one of uh, the pins on the fuse light, that means uh, uh, the fuse is blown. Here we can see where the two pins on the fuses are just before the 30 and after the 30 on this fuse and on the other fuses as well. So now we start touching the two, the two pins on each fuse and uh, if they the two pins light that means the fuse is good. If one of them doesn't light, fuse is blown. If the video is useful, please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Next we're going to test uh, fuses uh, with a multimeter if they are good or bad. Uh, this is what the fuse looks like and this is the contact in the middle that connects to the two pins. If, uh, uh, it, if the contact is uh, connected that means the fuse is good. If it's uh, burned that means there is an open circuit on the fuse and the uh, fuse is blown. So in order to check uh, the fuses, we need to measure their resistance. So we we'll turn the multimeter on to 20k ohms and we'll start uh, measuring. When measuring the resistance of the fuses, the resistance has to be very close to zero. First, uh, we'll check uh, the resistance of the two cables. It has to be zero as well. And now we'll start uh, testing the fuses. It, if it shows uh, something close to zero, fuse is good. If it says if it doesn't show anything, that means uh, fuse is blown off. If it shows a lot of resistance, also fuse is not good. The first one showed zero. The second one also shows uh, zero ohms. The third one shows uh, zero ohms. And the fourth one shows uh, open circuit, it doesn't show any ohms, nothing is changing. That means this fuse is uh, blown. Now we see uh, what the condition of the fuse is visually. Uh, we can see that the contact in the middle is not connected to the uh, two pins, so, so that, that's why uh, it doesn't show any resistance because it's an open circuit. So we'll measure the fuses again just to be sure. This one shows oil which means open circuit. This one is uh, zero ohms that means fuse is good. This one also zero and this one is also zero.
Next, I'll show you how to test uh, relay using an automotive relay tester. Uh, this is a tester for 4-pin or 5-pin uh, relay. Uh, this is where the, we put the pins, depends on their, their formation. And after we put in the relay, we press test and uh, it will start uh, showing if, it, if the relay is working. First, we need to connect uh, the two cables for the relay tester onto battery positive and battery negative. Next, we get a relay. We can see that it's a four pin relay, so we'll put it. Uh, where uh, where it's going to sit just in the top right hand corner and put it on four pin and then we'll press uh, the button test when we press the button test if uh, the light goes uh, flashing green that means the the relay is working if it goes uh, red that means the relay is not working in our case, it's flashing green, so that means that the relay is good. Next, I'll show you the location of all the main fuse boxes on this BMW X5 E70. Uh, there is a one small fuse box here in the engine bay area and it's located underneath this uh, plastic cover. Uh, there is the cabin filter right there and underneath the cabin filter there is uh, this another plastic cover that we need to remove in order to get access to those uh, fuses. The next main fuse box is located underneath the glove box. You know, to get access to it, we need to remove this uh, plastic uh, cover, which is held by three screws. Uh, we'll remove them and we bring it down. And then on the right, we're going to see the fuse box housing. The fuse box housing is right there. And the fuse box housing is held by one green bolt right there. The green bolt, we need to unscrew that bolt and then the whole fuse box housing will come down and we can see the fuses. That's the fuse box housing, now it's down, we'll push it down a little bit and now we're going to be able to see all the fuses and relays, they're right there. Next I'll show you the next uh, main fuse box which is located in the luggage compartment, we need to remove this cover and the fuse box is right there. Uh, there is also some relays here on the right, the green relays, and that's it. Next I'll show you in the service manual all the fuse boxes that are on this BMW X5 E70. We can see there is one in the engine bay, fascia, load area, and load area 2. And here on the left are all the fuses uh, in those fuse boxes. In the search tab we're going to type uh, engine management to show us all the fuses for it. We can see there is two relays and three or four fuses. They're all located in the engine bay area and load area too. First I'll show you the location of the fuses in the engine bay fuse box. It's number one relay, number two relay, F1 20 amp fuse, F2 20 amp fuse, F3 30 amp fuse. Hopefully the video was helpful, thank you for watching.